It's time for another Black History Month Spotlight. If you're struggling to get your dog to listen, trust me, I've been there. It may be time to consider seeking assistance from a professional dog trainer. That's right, and lucky for us, Eric Eater, a dog behaviorist and content creator for Eric and Capri the Pup, this is Capri, is here to share some pro tips with us all. How are you doing, sir? Great, how, how about you? yourself? Yeah, We're thank very, you guys very good. for having us. How's Capri doing as well? She's surprisingly well. She's it so friendly. In a new very. environment, you know. New environment, and yeah. this is the thing. I mean, clearly clearly, Capri is used to different environments. Sure. Uh, you're very relaxed, there's no yeah. leash. Yeah. Um, how do you get this to happen? <laughs> well, when she was a puppy, I tried to take her everywhere. It's the most important thing is early socialization, you right. know, especially when you're very, if you're lucky enough to have a puppy, it's important to take them as, as, to as many places, places as possible and get them, you know, used to sounds and things that would normally be scary and uh, as they grow up. So that's what we did. We've just gone everywhere. Now, how did your journey begin in sort of saying, okay, aside from finding your own talents with this, you said, yeah. I need to share this with other people. Yeah, um, well, I just started posting you know my my training with her on TikTok, and I did not think anything of it. And of course, you know, one day the video started going viral, and the things that I thought were normal, all of a sudden people were just like, "Oh my God, how are you doing that?" And so you know, it just kind of spiraled from there. And the more content we we kept sharing of our training, the more viral the videos kept going. And so that's just everyone asking us questions. Look at yeah, no. Capri <laughs> as he talks. She's yeah. like, tell she's, me She more. has <laughs> some interjections. You know she's she's like, I'd like to add to yeah. this conversation. She's listening for a command, for a release command. Because so she, wants, she, wants she wants to be broken from the, the, the place. That's so. obedience. Yeah, she, yeah. Cle clearly, you're, you're an expert dog trainer sure. and handler. You know how to work with animals. You have a, a knack and a, a sense for it. Yeah. But also with this, like you mentioned, has come the social media. Um, notoriety right. and the platform that you have from that. So, yeah. com combining those two things, what, what's the most rewarding part? Is it is it sharing your knowledge with others? Is it showcasing Capri? You know, what what do you enjoy most about all these kind of disciplines that you? I really I really like the ability to just take her anywhere and just turn on the you know the training and she's just ready to go. So I so she's given me you know just a, a, a new kind of like. She just makes it exciting to go out into the world. Mm -hmm. So wherever I go, I go onto to the strip and we walk up and down and we kind of interact with people. And just the interaction is nice because, you know, I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just good to have her because people will say, hey, you know, they want automatically they want to they're drawn to the dog. So it starts conversations. And yeah, so it's just nice to just be able to go anywhere and interact with people. And talk about dogs, of course. <laughs> Capri, you <laughs> want to come up? She goes, okay. Somebody, <laughs> let me let me come up here yeah. now with Capri. Sorry, I'm jumping in. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. With Capri, <laughs> she kind of helps with you know That's your funny. training and what yeah. you're doing. So how does that actually work? Well, what you guys are doing right now, if it wasn't for TV. I'd be like, don't do that. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> I figured. I, you see how I've been, been, been behaving. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, like, I'm like your daddy is, said that we cannot. Weak. We, we gotta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. And I don't blame you, Capri. I, Capri my life is cute. controlled like, by three dogs, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to them telling me what to do. He's I, the yeah. one that I was you take down to, to and then right. you're like, where did all this training go? <laughs> yeah, but you know, wherever, whenever I go to a new environment with her, I put her in place, as you saw. And I try to just teach her that, hey, all you need to do is just lay down here and be calm. So I take treats. That's the thing people don't do is they don't take food and they think that the dog will operate on the fact that the dog loves them. But the dog just loves what it loves. And I know that she loves treats. Mm -hmm. So whenever I go places, I take treats with me. And then when I say place, Good. She's so well behaved, oh, and I can I, reward her for that. It's another, magic. Another thing that's come <laughs> off the back of your work and off, off the back of your your Instagram, you know, being an influencer, a content creator, however yeah. you want to describe it, is you know you've been able to do some some community work, some extra work uh, right. to connect people, and one of those things has been your work in Nigeria. Yeah. What exactly um, is that entailed? Well, it, 2017, when all of that stuff happened with the October 1st, um, I felt a desire to reach out to people and to be more helpful in the community here. And so when I'd gone back home, I found this young boy named David who was who's deaf and neat and lost his parents. And so it, it really just touched me because I had already lost my, my dad as well. And so I, I just felt a calling to, to do something and to try to get him to school. And, you know, because kids like that, they don't really get, you know, they don't really get to, to live a good life. 
And so I felt like it was just my duty. So going to him, it opened me up to the community of other deaf kids and things like that. And so that's what I've just been doing. So I just felt really called to it. And just one person trying to do what he can. And hopefully, you know, the community can see that and feel inspired to also help any way they can. Incredible. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and yeah. bringing Capri by. No for more information, be sure to visit ericandcaprithepup.com.